Hi guys, I'm Jamal Stone. I'm Chantal Aids. We are on our way to Comic Con 2014, our very own custom made, donated by Chevy, Uber car with the Sonic the Hedgehog theme. Also, we have our superhero stuff, Batman shirts on. Chantal, are you excited? I'm uber excited! There's cosplayers, celebrities. Oh my god, Madame Tussauds, they have a little surprise. I can't wait to see it. Marvel's got some announcements. We're gonna see a whole bunch of panels. I'm excited. I can't wait. You ready to go with that? I think this is going to be uber awesome. Let's go. Let's go. Hi, we're here with the creator of Mike Tyson's Mysteries. Now, what I want to know is that since we have a blend of the Scooby-Doo A-Team kind of feel, yeah. how did you come up about with this whole concept? Oh, boy. That's the number one mystery in there is I don't know that I can answer it. Um, I think Mike Tyson wanted to do a cartoon and no one had the balls to stop him because it was like, what were you going to say to him? So uh, the rest of us had to just figure it out before Mike Tyson said, where's my cartoon? And we didn't have a cartoon. Um, so we did, and now we have a cartoon that we're all proud of. So why the blend of just like Scooby-Doo and the A-Team feel? We're, I mean, really... Well, I think like the Scooby-Doo thing is obvious because like he looks because it you know I don't know if you've seen any of the animation but it's yes. like that also is like an, an animation style that is like it's so um, because Sco those Scooby shows were good they were genuinely I still like them I mean they're they're yeah they're great it's like Warner Brothers animation still has lots of those artists that were back in the day oldies are still drawing those drawings and it's like so the the Warner Brothers can execute that really well without it feeling like oh it's like a rip off of that or it's like an I don't know you know like we're like kind of taking from yeah it feels authentic because it it is authentic they can do all that the people that paint the backgrounds same people that some of them the same ones from the 60s so it's like it's really neat. It has this quality of looking like a thing that I think we are right to all of us love. And then it's got Mike Tyson in it. Like, it makes no sense. And so it's very funny because he gives a great performance. He's super fun to work with and brave as an actor. And um, it's, I think it's super compelling. So. Okay, so besides the star himself, um, what can we expect from the other characters? Do you have a favorite character? Well, uh, I will say, like, when I, when I was young, I thought Norm MacDonald was the funniest person ever. Now I'm making Norm sound real old. But um, he, he's crazy and funny, and uh, he plays the pigeon. And Norm has a very unique style of delivery. Um, and at first, I would try to write to it. And I think it was like, just that seemed like a knockoff. Like, it was, a, it was like I'd written, you know, shitty Norm MacDonald dialogue. And um, later, as we got more and more comfortable together, Norm, is, he's so funny. And he does the records with Rachel and Jim. And Rachel and Jim were both in uh, Groundlings with me. We were all performers together. And uh, so we know each other really well and have performed a lot together. Uh, Norm, we had, none of us knew. But Norm is like, he's a great match with Jim, who plays his part, very flamboyant. And then Rachel's very, like, grounded and real. And then, and, and then Mike in there, it's just like a great pairing. Uh, I guess pairing, strictly speaking, is two people, and that's four people. <laughs> but it's a double pairing. That's great. It's a quarrering. There we go. New word on Couch TV Network, guys. Um, <laughs> uh, what I want to know is, you know, for the fans who are watching, what can they expect on that first you know, episode? I know I am anticipating it. The very first episode, I believe, involves um, Pulitzer Prize winning author Cormac McCarthy. <laughs> that doesn't sound promising. Uh, <laughs> it involves um, maybe a chupacabra and a pegasus. Okay, I, I know. I You guys have to tune in for that. Uh, October 27th. Thank you yeah. again so much, because I want to know what does the Chupacabra and the Pegasus have to do yeah. in an episode. You will, you will be shocked. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome.